Okay, folks, this is a bit of a curio. Uh, I, I've seen them before, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not sure what they're exactly for. Um, there's something from the kitchen. You could call it a kitchen curio. We'll soon find out. Someone's all, or someone ought to know, not me. But I'm really missing a loved one. I'm trying to get in touch. Uh, but I'll just quickly set this silly thing up. Don't know how it's going to look. And we'll see how we go. Going to leave it in there. Okay, let's see what we're doing. We've got here. Don't know what to call it. It looks like an umbrella, like some kind of umbrella for food. I think it's a food umbrella, but I don't know how it's actually used. Um, but I'm interested in this front bit with the beautiful lace. So I'm just going to put it on the glass like so. Sorry about the shitty camera work. I'm trying to, I don't have anyone to assist me uh, with this so I have to do it all by myself and it's really proves to be a little bit clumsy very clumsy indeed and I can't get the umbrella underneath this stupid dock feeder so I'm going to leave it in a bit of a chaotic sort of a way and I'm just going to quickly I don't know how it's going to look I don't know why I bought it knowing it was going to be a fucking hard one to do or suspecting it at least yeah it looks black and white uh, there's no colour in that not a good start and you can just see that the rod there the umbrella like an umbrella like the rain umbrella type so I don't know why we're not getting much color so we're just going to line that up and I think we're just going to slide it across I'm trying to get some of that pattern into the frame so we're just going to just play around with it I think we're going to make maybe a master copy in full color and then we can print off um, in, yeah, we can do that. So now we're just, just going to make it nice. I forgot to put the saturation. No, the saturation I don't think works in dual colour mode. Oh, hang on, we've got we to gotta just do something. We've got to keep the cyan in black. Uh, We'll just take out the magenta and the yellow so we have cyan and black. So we have a bit of extra colour. Hopefully colour. Yeah, that's a real bright cyan that's come up better than I thought um, wondering if we're going to keep it like that um, this will be our master copy wondering where the center of the job is going to be I think it's going to be there um, I don't know what to do with it. It's still a very, uh, very minimalist kind of design. Um, it looks very minimalist. Um, I'm not a big minimalist fan, folks. Um, I'm not a fan of having just a little bit of colour here and there. Um, 
going to start with black and red for this. So we're just going to take it off the glass and we're just going to put it aside to be re-donated. And I just don't know exactly how it works as a kitchen item. I don't know how it actually works, um, what it's actually for exactly. Um, so we're just going to enlarge a little bit, I think. Uh, not much. I'll see how we go with this anyway. Um, it's not an easy one to work with. Um, I do think maybe the horizontal could go a little bit to get the little bit at the end off. Maybe darken it a bit because it likes a bit of darkness to get rich colours. Yeah, that looks really nice actually. Could be a bit darker, maybe a bit darker. Um, wondering where this center is going to be. Going to make it, gonna make it. Maybe we could enlarge it further and stretch it. Um, Maybe that's what we can do. We can stretch it, folks. Just enlarge it further. I'm just going to move it across to get a bit more of it, get rid of the stringy bits at the end. But I'm really missing a loved one and I'm trying to get this creative work to go to air on primetime television in, in the, in the free-to-air news. So proven to be really challenging trying to interest the TV networks in my stuff. It's not exactly the easiest stuff to... I'm not going to market it for profit because I don't want the TV channels to feel they have to pay me to use my material and I think I have to enlarge it more on the horizontal but basically I don't want them to feel obliged to use my my stuff. They can do it and I don't care what they do with the videos. I just want them in the prime time slot first thing up. I want a I want a huge coverage of my material. I want my material to go to go viral. Um I want it to go viral on television basically because I'm trying to find my partner Luigi and I can't find him so uh, I, I have to do what I have to do and try and do something about it because it's really difficult trying to get to find him and I haven't been able to find him uh, so far so I don't I don't I can't be bothered anymore trying to use social media as a way of you, of getting people power to assist in my cause I can't people power is is not going to work I can't just keep sharing it and sharing it and sharing it and thinking that I'm going to find Luigi because most of the people probably don't know who the fuck he is and basically I need to get in touch with Luigi and the only, I can't just how am I supposed to, he, I need a an address to go to when I find to find Luigi. I need to get an address. The TV channels have to put the address up so I can locate him. So it's not gonna happen just by mindlessly sharing social media. On social media, though social media is important. It's an important ingredient in my work, but it's not the only thing. I can't just use people power to get in touch it's not going to work i know what people power is like compared with mainstream mainstream's got more power it's got more sway i need the power i need the i need the coverage otherwise i'll never find him
I'm the kind of person that believes if you want to get something happening, if you want to have a cause put across, you got to basically use power. You got to have power from the from in the upper echelons of society. Uh, it's what's called a top-down approach. I'm a person who believes more in a top-down approach than the than the grassroots or bottoms-up approach to getting things heard. Bottoms-up really works, and you have to get go to the top. And television is still the most powerful medium that I know of. Uh, social media doesn't quite have that same power as television does. And I really need to find him and I can't find him so I need to connect with the power brokers who have the power to help. I can't do it alone. And, and as I said, social media alone isn't going to save me, so to speak or save our relationship. It's important, it's an important ingredient in this campaign, but it's not good enough by itself. Anyway, let's see how that looks. That looks really quite interesting. A bit minimalist, but interesting. Gotta go.